Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2020 Isuzu D-Max SX. A little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns. We one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards. We go through about 200 vehicles a month, making us the largest pre-owned vehicle department in Queensland. Now, as you can see, we've got quite a variety of vehicles here at our main yard, just near Deer 5 Cairns. And over the back there, our very own showroom where we actually photograph each and every vehicle that comes through onto the yard. We've also got parts and services in the brand new part of Toyota and Lexus just across the street. And you make your way towards the city, you'll actually come across our second pre-owned vehicle yard as well. Throughout the video though, I'll be going around the D-Max here in complete detail, just pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale, or any extras that have been fitted to this vehicle. So what we'll do, we'll start down around the front. As you can see, they've got the aftermarket black alloys on there. And the tyres, they've got plenty of tread. Now that is part of the roadworthy certificate included in that uh, driveway price. And as you can see, there's some Mickey Thompsons that they've fitted as well. Up and underneath, nice and clean. Make sure there's no dust or rust or red dirt or anything. Looks like they've done the suspension there as well. Let's come down around, have a bit of a look. TJM suspension there. Now they've probably done that when they've uh, fitted the, the extras like the bull bar around, around the front here. TJM as well. And you've got the King's LED light bars there also. Nice and tidy around the front. As we mentioned, there's a few extras on this one. You've got that GME antenna there also. We'll see the UHF in the video a little bit later on. Just make sure there's little bits of dirt on the bonnet there. Make sure there's no big dings or dents or damages. No scratching. The markings are imperfections. Nice straight bodywork. Down that passenger side, we'll cover each panel as we go. Just keep checking out each wheel, making sure there's no damages and there's plenty of tire tread and that consistency keeps up around the whole vehicle. And as you can see, they've also got the side steps that have been fitted. Again, let's give you a look underneath. Nice and tidy and no knocks and damages. And down that passenger side, nice straight bodywork. Onto that tub there, also very clean and tidy. Okay, just a little bit of dirt there. Nice and straight, no knocks or damages. That passenger rear, again, just as tidy and excellent amount of tire tread still as well. And up and underneath the back, also very clean and tidy. Spare wheel with plenty of tread there. Come down around and underneath. Again, there's TJM suspension in the back. No red dust or anything underneath. Nice and clean. Around the back end, just making sure there's no knocks on the tailgate here. We got one little marking just in there on the tailgate. So I do like to try and be transparent in these videos and point out these imperfections where we can. As you can see, that's still nice and straight and tidy. No knocks on that rear bar. You've obviously got the tow bar that's been fitted as well. Plug just there. Beautiful, we'll have a look inside. So, a little bit of wear and tear inside the tub, but that is what they're designed for. No major knocks or damages though. No holes or anything being drilled into it. Down the driver's side, again we'll keep covering each panel. Great to see that consistency throughout the video. Nice and tidy. No big knocks or damages. Plenty of extras that have been fitted and all very clean and tidy. We've got that TJM snorkel there as well. That nice strap bodywork in immaculate condition around the exterior. Windscreen, just make sure there's no chips or cracks. Again, part of that roadworthy. And up on the roof, no dings, dents, or hail damage. Beautiful. We'll make our way through the interior, making sure it's just as well looked after. Just checking for any wear and tear, scratching or scuff marks on the door carts. Now we've got the rubber floor mats throughout, the genuine Isuzu ones. Not trying to hide anything on that vinyl flooring. Just again, being very well looked after. The upholstery is still in excellent condition, like near new. No cuts, tears, stains, or burn marks. 
Yeah, you've got those rear aircon vents back here as well. And nice clean roof lining. Driver's door, obviously the most commonly used, so only wear and tear it is likely to show up on this one first. But looks to be just as well looked after as the rest of the vehicle. No big knocks or damages. Driver's foot well, again, rubber floor mats up front as well, and that driver's seat still in great condition. Uh, we'll jump in and start it up for you. So a couple of keys, two with the remotes, and then a third emergency spare. Turns over nicely. You see, you got your electric windows, your locking for your side mirrors. Down in here, traction control. Looks like they've got the uh, better control there as well for, for that tow bar setup. And then all your cruise control and everything on the right hand side here. And then on the left hand side, do the Bluetooth hands free once it's obviously things like the phone are connected. A few more features. Nice uh, display screen up here though. We'll have a bit of a closer look. Uh, the odometer just in there at 34,601 kilometres. We'll check that authenticity shortly with the service history. But you can also have a bit of a flick through, set that up as you please, some trip meters, some fuel consumptions, the whole sort of works. Digital speedo and everything there. Make our way across, you've got the nice large touchscreen display up here. Make sure it's all working. Again, obviously, once the phone's connected, a few more features in there. Uh, it's also where that reverse camera shows up out back, right on that rear bar. You know exactly where the back of the vehicle is, uh, especially if you're trying to connect a trailer by yourself. Make your way down though, all your air conditioning controls, a couple connections, 12 volts, USB and AUX in there as well. And uh, there's that UHF. It's, uh, down here you've got your rear, rear diff lock and then automatic like most nowadays. But very clean and tidy up front, just like the rest of the vehicle's been. No markings or damages on the passenger side there. No fading, cracking or stickiness on the dash. It's been very well looked after this vehicle. We'll have a bit of a look in here. Oops, uh, the books. Service is the main one people want to know about. We'll just have a bit of a flick through that one. Take our way back to the beginning. Uh, first service at 15,000 Ks. They did another one there at 26,700. Uh, and then Kind of looks like just due to time, they just did another one at 31,600 kilometres. So, next one's not due till about 45,000 k's. We've just done a check on it, uh, giving you a good bit of time for the next service. But we'll have a look underneath the bonnet while she's running. Uh, obviously, make sure things like those services have paid off for you. Have a look underneath, nice and clean and tidy. No rust or red dust, no knocks, rattles, or squeals or anything, just that diesel motor ticking over nicely. Beautiful, that was our virtual tour of our 2020 Isuzu D Max SX. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.